Hello and welcome to the Land on Any channel. Today I'm going to teach you how to do the color change thing. I'm speaking really fast because we got a copyright music playing in the background so we're gonna do this right now what you're gonna need to do you're gonna need to go to the little big Leonard, uh, the uh, Leonard 98 free car dealership you're gonna grab that little thing right there cuz it's a dev tool only thing just so we could change car okay now back to create mode all right now that we're back here on the moon on create mode I can speak normal now okay so basically Back in the dealership, there was a tool for you to use to change the color of the cars. Now, it is a dev tool, D-E-V, dev tool, being that the people who made the game are the only ones that have it. Now, there is someone on here, well, I should say their name, but I don't, it's been so long since I've actually picked it up from their level that gave it. So, and I'm not, I'm definitely not taking responsibility of getting it. That is no, no way in the case. Now, however, I'm going to show you how it works. So, all right, now I'm just going to take a piece. <laughs> a piece of hologram. And, you know, kind of defeats the purpose. But, give me this. Okay. Get bigger. Yeah. Okay. Let's make this sticker panel instead. There we go. And we'll make it 100. So basically, how this dev tool works is this. Get rid of this. That's not necessary. It. Yep. Dev only. It's an. It's an RGB tweaker. So there are. Three inputs. I can't use my hand, but I'm using my hand. There's three inputs. Red, green, blue. That explains why I got a red, a green, and a blue tag here. They're all just marked color. That's every single car, at least most of them, have the color tag. So, yep, you want to change the color of one of my cars that you got from the dealership. Uh, all you need is a red, green, and blue color tag, even though there's already one inside the car, so it's probably going to make it a lot lighter than you'd be anticipating. However, if we look here, there is no output. And that is the main problem with this tool. There's no output. So, yes, you do have to litter that, that microchip on this like pimples. You got no choice. There's no output, and there's... Yeah, that's all you get. And there's no way to make it sticky to where, like, it attaches to everything and changes it in that sort of way. So basically, you're out of luck unless you litter it with it. Now, by no means am I saying... Well, no, I am literally saying it is bad on the thermostat. So yes... While making cars a single color is much better for just a little extra on the thermostat, which for some people might not be an issue, especially the some specific person that'll take three quarters of a thermostat just for one car. Hint, hint, Mr. Volkswagen Passat. But when it comes to me making racing games, I can't afford that. I need as much thermostat space as possible, so these older cars with a very limited amount of detail is fantastic. However, newer cars, they got so much detail. No, it it makes the game work extra, extra hard just to load it. But that's really all there is to it. You just plug in a wire for red, a wire for green, a wire for blue, and tack it on there. And if you're using painted sheet metal, at least make everything 100, unless it's supposed to be shaded. Then, like, 90 or 80. And then the color will obviously change with it. That's really all there is to it, guys. Hopefully this video wasn't too cringeworthy. I know I could have made it in two seconds, literally, if I didn't have to talk all the extra. But you know what? It's all worth it. You want entertainment here, not boredom. That's why some people don't like school. But anyway, <clears throat> I hope you enjoyed the video. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Help support us to try and get up to at least our first thousand. And if you like the video, please like the video. Show some support and comment down below. 
Anything else that you'd like me to show you, I can at least try my best for that. Anyway, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.